Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to return from moons in Kerbal Space Program. Basically we're going to return from the moon to Kerbin and I'm going to show you the most efficient way of doing this because there are a couple of ways you could do it. You could get out of the moon's sphere of influence and then burn retrograde to bring your periapsis down to within uh, Kerbin's atmosphere or you could do what I'm going to show you which is a lot more efficient and it basically involves you doing the whole thing from the moon's sphere of influence. Anyway. The first thing we need to look at is where the moon is going. So the moon's prograde, the prograde for the moon, is in this direction. It's going over towards this side. So if we want to go and slow ourselves down relative to Kerbin, Kerbin's surface or whatever, we need to actually burn into the moon's retrograde. Now, depending on where on the moon you are, this will be slightly different, but I'm going to have to burn eastwards. If you're on this side, you'd have to burn west. But I'm going to have to burn eastwards. For example, if you're here, you just burn straight up. And if you were here, you'd have to burn probably east, and then it'd be a bit more difficult because you've got to almost get out this way. So actually, when you're looking for a landing location on the moon, try and bring it somewhere closer to this um, this uh, line here, essentially, so that you can burn just straight out. But anyway, so you can see where I am. I need to burn east. So I'm going to start by just throttling up and pitching over to 45 degrees east to get myself clear of any of the ground. And you'll see my orbit is now being raised, and I'm going to start to pitch down even more. Basically, I need to point in the direction and get my escape trajectory pointing in the same direction as this line, going away into the distance that way. If I can do that, then I should get back to Kerbin reasonably safely, and I'll just have to keep burning until my predicted periapsis around Kerbin gets low enough that I'll be pulled in by the atmosphere. So here we are, I'm going to bring in my landing legs just to be neat and tidy. And yeah, everything's looking reasonably good. There we are, you can see my apoapsis is going that way a little bit. So I'm going to actually pitch up a little bit, because that should make my escape trajectory come a bit more sort of towards this line, because at the moment it's going to go over here somewhere. So I'll have to burn upwards a little bit really. And basically you need to do this until you can actually get your escape trajectory, something like that. And there we are. And now I need to keep burning. And actually, you want your escape trajectory to be sort of parallel with this line. So I'm just going to keep burning up this way. And you'll see my periapsis around Kerbin that's predicted keeps going down. If it's going up, then this isn't parallel properly, and you'll need to adjust it. And there we go, it's still going down. And there we are, it's within the atmosphere. And that looks pretty good. You can do this from Minmus as well, it's the same principle, and actually, because Minmus spins round, you should be able to just wait until you're on Minmus's retrograde, because I think Minmus spins round. And for example, if you want to go from Lathe all the way to Joule, uh, the same principle would apply. Although, well actually, Lathe has an atmosphere, so it'd be slightly different, but uh, if you want to go from somewhere with an atmosphere to somewhere without an atmosphere, sorry, somewhere without an atmosphere to somewhere with an atmosphere like that, then it would work. And I guess you could, you know, if the place that you're orbiting around, if, you know, if Kerbin didn't have an atmosphere, for example, it would still work. But you just have to burn when you get there. Anyway, I'll bring my periapsis down so it's actually going to hit Kerbin. And um, there I can just split off and deploy the parachutes and turn off SAS as well. And then we can just time warp until we get to Kerbin. Make sure if you're splitting off any, um, you know, if you're splitting off your command pod, then make sure you split it off while you're pointing retrograde to make sure you don't speed yourself up and actually push yourself out of the atmosphere, because that has happened to me before, and it's a bit of a pain. Um, so, you know, make sure you do that. And if you're not quite in the atmosphere, you might actually be able to get your trajectory inside the atmosphere by doing that. So it's worth a try. And I've done that before in one of my playthroughs. Anyway. Uh, we're coming into the atmosphere now, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I mean, you know, all we have to do is wait for the parachutes to deploy and land. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video, and I hope it helped. If it did, then it'd be awesome if you could give it a thumbs up or a favorite. And as always, have a nice day.